Hey y'all, Lesson Nicole here with French Kiss Textures and I'm going to show you a real quick way to use transparent overlays. Okay, I've got an image here of a floral and I've already done some texture work here and I'm liking this overall but it's looking a little bit lonely here, this flower and the textures. I want to bring a little more color balance on here. So I'm going to open up one of the artistic edges. It's a transparent overlay. You can tell it's transparent because of these uh, black and white squares where the transparency areas are. I am going to first rotate this because my image is vertical. So I think I'm going to rotate that 90, 90 degrees. I'm going to be showing you a way that I like to resize my textures and overlays. Okay, I'm going to bring up the image dialog box, command option I on Mac, command alt I or control alt I rather on PC and then from the window menu I'm going to go down here and select my target file, let go and the dimensions are automatically updated here. So when I hit OK this overlay is going to be resized to the exact same size as my target document. Now I'm going to drag this overlay onto my document. I'm going to hold down shift so that it centers exactly and right now as you can see it's just looking black. Here's how we're going to change that. Over here in my layer, layer panel I'm going to select a new adjustment layer, select solid color, the color picker is going to come up and at this point just pick any color that's close to what you think you might want. It really doesn't matter because you can adjust this as you go along. I'm going to hit OK. Now that's just covering the whole screen. I'm going to add a clipping mask. So what I'm going to do is select the overlay layer, hold down my Option key if you're on a Mac or Alt key on the PC, select in between the overlay layer and the color layer and click on that line in between and you see now that that color um, adjustment layer is being confined to the non-transparent areas of that overlay. Alright, now if I want to um, adjust the blend mode, do that on the overlay layer. I'm going to select multiply and also you can adjust the opacity here. So let's say I'm going to bring that down to 50% or I'll say 60%. Okay. Okay, if I want to adjust that color, if I want to change the color, I'm just going to double click the color square. It brings up the color picker again and you can select a color from anywhere in your document. I'm just going to scroll around here picking different colors. So you can see I can even select colors from my color swatch swatches. Some of those are a bit wild. I'm, you can, depending on your blend mode it may not show up. For instance I'm putting white here because my blend mode is multiply I don't see anything. You would have to change the blend mode on the overlay layer to let's say screen and then you can see the white. So depending on your blend mode colors will show up differently. Okay well that was a quick video just going over using the transparent um, edge overlays. There are more videos on using clipping masks with the overlays and also more videos about resizing etc. Thanks!